Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're looking at here is the T8 Mini by Droidbox. Droidbox is a British company that makes some pretty sharp products. And we're looking at the main home screen for their dashboard here. So before we get too deep into it, I'm just going to sort of tell you what's going on with this guy. Because this is a pretty busy screen. Over here, you've got a little widget that's going to tell you your date and time. Of course, you have to set that at... For some reason, the automatic settings seems to come up like in 2015, so you just need to go into settings and make sure that's straight. You got your Droid Box Media Center, which is a fork of Kodi. You got the like the Droid Box Share. This is a program that allows you to actually like link up your computer or mobile devices. Your your computer will be able to mirror the screen, and the mobile devices can you know be used as controllers, air mouses, just regular digital controllers. It's really cool. They've got their own little store here, the Droid Box Market. They've got a nice help section here. They've got the Google Play Store. There's a cleaner for your memory, so that helps you speed the box up. And got an app drawer. This is a totally different animal here. This is actually a, a link in with a Linux version in. It's an open elect version of Kodi that's just Kodi and it's really excellent. We're going to have a separate video on that later. This is where you get to your settings for your, you know, your basic Android 5.1.1 settings. That's what they're running on right now. You got a little cool dials here. Dashboard tote shows you your storage, your CPU usage, and how much memory is available. And here on there where it says my favorites is, you know, you add your apps from the app drawer here for just quick availability. Also, for more customization purposes, there is a section on the left and a section on the right for more apps that you can drop in there. So... Before we get too deep into all the details, I'm just going to show you something about its apps that are already preloaded. It, you know, like I said, here's your DBMC, that's the Droid Box Media Center, the Control Center, the Market. It has Film on Live. I love the ES File Explorer. It also has that standard Android File Browser. Like I said, there's Droid Box Share. Okay, Monsters Legends doesn't come preloaded. That's just a game I play. I forgot I had that in place. This is a big one, IP Vanish. IP Vanish is a VPN service that is partnered with Droidbox, and people who buy the Droidbox can actually get IP Vanish for 99 cents a month for the first month. That's one of their big things. Uh, VPNs help you protect your security, protect your privacy, as well as help you if you want to access websites from outside of your country, you know, geo-blocked things, that's what that does. It has the Netflix, and off the suite, that this is the Android version of Netflix, just so you know, it's not the, like, the TV version. It has MirrorCast. I've tested that, it works. And let's see if there's anything else unique about this. Oh, yes, YouTube. It, it runs the Android version of YouTube, the uh, actually the Android TV version of YouTube. So this is a lean back version of YouTube that allows you to navigate just using your own controller. I mean, you, you don't need a fancy air mouse to do it. Although I always recommend air mouses with Android boxes like this. But this is this is snazzy. I mean, a lot of a lot of boxes don't let you do this. And so this version of YouTube is just far superior, you know, to something like this, which it also comes preloaded with, which is the Android version of YouTube that you typically will find on an Android box. You know, because th these require you to have an air mouse to navigate. You can't do it otherwise. So let's get out of that. And I think we've pretty much covered this section. But it has, you know, a lot of things in place. Like I said, the, the, thing, the thing that I like the best that you know, it has in place, besides, of course, like browser, which is obvious, is the ES File Explorer. It's just so helpful when you're downloading things. The browser is a full browser, or at least a full Android browser. You know, you can go anywhere you want. 
oddly enough, I think I'm going to choose my website, right? Streaming advisor, boom, and bang. Now, people wonder, what's the point of a browser on an Android device, right? I'm going to tell you. Besides just having the ability to get online like this, which is what you I mean, you know, maybe you like looking at websites through your TV, you know. But there is a website that I really like that I would pretty much recommend anybody. Let's see. Let's see if I'm spelling that right now. I'm not spelling that right. Let's just say APK Mirror and search. APK Mirror is a website that I like where you can find more APKs, more apps for Android devices. And, you know, when you've got it hooked up this way, you download it directly to your TV box and you're good to go. But you can find apps that are hard to get a hold of any other way, including things like the Android TV version of Hulu, which is awesome because... Just like the YouTube version, you know, it allows you to navigate Hulu without having to use an air mouse. And like I said, that's just too helpful. So, but, you know, I think we are familiar with browsers at this point in uh, the technological revolution. Let's show you the Droidbox market. This is based on Aptoids TV. You know, Aptoid is a alternative app store for Android, but they developed this Aptoid TV-based browser, or not browser, but store, that, you know, it looks more like the, like the Google Play store that you'd have on the Android TV boxes and things like that. They have it all custom-built so that not only can you update everything that's pre-installed on the box, so you have your updates right here, you also have a lot of very helpful categories. It's got one specifically for Cody, see? Cody, DBMC, and SPMC. So I like this. The, their store, because it's an Aptoid-based store, is going to have a lot of things that you can't find in the Google Play Store. I do think it's great to have both of them, though, because the Google Play Store has things that you can't get here. And, you know, when you have a snazzy air mouse, being able to add apps from the Google Play Store is really cool. So, there's IP, there's the VPN, the IP Vanish. But I like this store a lot. It, you know, I've always, I, I put the Aptoid TV store on Android boxes all the time, so... The fact that this is already done there already is very nice. The little help center is really cool. Um, it has a lot of different options. The YouTube help helper is nice because a lot of the basic things that the box does have YouTube videos that you can access just directly from this. It has a section called How To that link, links you to their website. It, it honestly, it might be easier just to go to their website, you know, on your computer or on your phone, because you know, otherwise you're just doing this. You know, the Fix It section is good because it has a way to repair a lot of basic things that you know you might want to deal with. It the factory reset, of course, is good if you just need to nuke it. You know, if you've messed it all up which, you know, can happen when you're fumbling around a lot. But you see that you can clear out your Kodi. You know, it says, you know, reset DBMC. So this is just a really nice, easy way to get a hold of things. You can also use this to, like, reboot into the root, you know, which is that black and red screen. I don't know if you ever do that. It, it saves you from having to use toothpicks and all that kind of thing. They do something really excellent. Um, they have a quick support where they use an app called Team Player or Team Viewer. Sorry, Team Viewer. And what, what you actually do is you go through here and you connect up with them via Team Viewer. And they'll actually take over your box for you 
and go through and fix things. It's, it's a good way to learn, actually. But, you know, you just sit back, relax, instead of them saying, you know, click on this and click on this and do you see this box and click on that box and put in this code. I mean, they just do everything for you. But the people who know what they're doing do it. Obviously, you can register here and submitting the log file is another sort of thing that you would do to kind of help the tech support that, that doesn't really have a function that's particularly, you know, amazing for the average user. The Google Play Store, of course, is the Google Play Store. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. And, you know, so something I actually really like about the Google Play Store is as you add apps, it helps you, you know, come up with other things you might want. Like, let's say you want to add the CW app, which, of course, you're going to need this fall because CW is no longer part of Hulu. So if you want to get your CW shows through an app, this is probably the way to go. Let's see, installing, installing, installing. Come on now, CW. I know I'm connected to the internet. Uh, but what I like is when you go to like one TV app, right? You scroll down. And it makes nice suggestions as to other things that you might want. So you have the CW Seed, which is a you know a nice app with a lot of older shows on it. And then you've got this whole array of other really excellent TV-based apps. So that's why I like using the Google, the, uh, the Google Play Store. But you can really load up real quick, you know, and it constantly says, "Oh, well, if you like this, then you might like that." If, I mean, you can see see how they're all related. It all makes sense. HBO Now, good stuff. Yideo is pretty interesting if you've never used it. It shows you where you can find all of the programming online. But, you know, I think you're probably familiar with the Google Play Store, but you might not have ever thought about the fact that it does help you find more stuff that you want. Okay, it installed it. Good. The settings, I think I showed you this a minute ago. They, like I said, they're all it's all Android 5.1.1. You know, and as it you know increases, it's going to kind of keep this look. If you've never used the later Android versions, the the interface is just a lot more slick. It's easy to get to all of your network stuff when you when you when you get your, if you get your box, you know, you can go right into the network. You can, it's very easy to get to your stuff, and they've even got the VPN stuff set up already for you, so you can just add it right in. Display is easy to change. Make it bigger or smaller, depending on what you need to do. I like this a lot more than what you used to see in KitKat. A lot more. A little about the box. So something that I didn't mention before, I should have, is that this box has OTA updates. There's no, I don't think there's anything available at the moment. Nope, nothing available. But OTA updates, of course, are really helpful. There's none of this, you know, getting on the forum and getting the firmware. I, I don't know why certain companies do that. And... I get tired of honestly of getting emails about how do I update this and how do I update that. I like I like a company that makes it easy. So it has OTA updates. But overall, that is what you get, you know, from the start. The Droid Box Media Center, like I said, is a version of Kodi. And they've done some things where they've put some stuff in place for you to make things easier to get started. So if you go into the file manager. They've already got a couple of things in there for you. Hushim, if you're unfamiliar with it, Hushim is a developer that has a lot of things that people enjoy. You know, you've got your tutorials, and of course, anything you want, you can add it in. I know a lot of people like adding things like Fusion or you know the Super Repo and Ares Wizard, things like that. So you know, you can do that just like you can with anything else. It is a clean version for the most part. There aren't any video add-ons in place already. So right now it only has the 
Cody repo. But overall, you see it's, you know, branded with the Droid Box stuff, and it's, to I me, mean, it's, it's a nice little setup. It's just, the one of the better things about it is this here. This is a maintenance program that's in the Droid Box program. And what it does is it allows you to clean up your Cody setup. It, it reminds me a lot of the maintenance that you get from something like the TV add-ons that you know, a lot of people might be familiar with the little yellow maintenance box. This is an easy way to clear things up, especially the cache. That this, you know, if you've never noticed it before, if your box starts slowing down, usually you need to clear the cache. And so these guys have it set up so that it's really easy to do that. But you know, I, I'm not one to read every category to you because you can see for yourself. But I think that this is a pretty good handy thing to have in place right from the start but you know otherwise the programs that are available are the same thing that you would find anytime you have Cody guys have put a lot of work into making things easy for people as, as easy as possible but that is the droid box media center and there's actually a just a Cody you know a, a more basic version of Cody installed on this too you know, the, the, uh, like I said, a very interesting option is actually the Open Elect Cody. But like I said, that's I, I don't want to get too deep and make this video last forever. But the Open Elect Cody, uh, what I'll tell you about it is it dual boots and it allows you to access Cody without it using any of the Android stuff. It, it, the resources are all on Cody, and so that's cool because you know. All of these other apps are nice, right? But they're all running. You know, like if you go into your settings and you go to apps. Let's see. We'll go to running apps. All of these apps right now are currently taking up resources, right? They're all doing something in the background, whether you realize it or not. And that's a lot of apps. Let's see how many more. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. All of these apps are running. Okay, so when you go into an open elect build, it only boots to open elect, and all of those apps in the background are not running anymore. It's just open elect, so it's going to allow you to have a faster, dedicated Cody build. But that, my friends, is the Droidbox T8 Mini. It's uh, pretty sharp. Uh, like I said, I really do like the dashboard a lot. Uh, you know, I think it's easy to navigate. Even though there's a lot going on, you can, it takes a little getting used to. I like the way that it's set up. So if you found this helpful, you know, please go ahead and subscribe. If you want to pick up a droid box, um, we'll have a link for it at the bottom of the video. And you know, please subscribe. Help us keep it building. We're up over 7,000 views, or actually over 7,000 subscribers. Way more views. Woohoo! But, you know, keep taking a look at what we got going on and share this with your friends. I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.